at the last panel we were on together, you kind of told this funny story about patient awareness and how you started when you first went out saying, you know, this isn't this great, you just got an, you're, you're e-prescribing. Do you want to tell that, do you remember that story you told? It was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah, it, 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 um, if you see the video of the first scripts that came over, I, I'm rather excited. I was kind of like landing somebody on the moon. I thought, yeah, this is really going to work, and it really worked. And um, so I was really excited. So then subsequent, over the next week or so, as an e-prescription came over, I kind of bounce up to the patient, how good was that? They didn't realize that anything had changed, really, other than it was much quicker. And so a few of them kind of said, well, you know, what went on before? And I said, well, the doctor would send us a fax, and that's why you would often beat the prescription to the dispensary, because the fax would go to a server and then come back 20 minutes after you arrived in the pharmacy expecting it ready. So. Um, it's rather seamless to the patient, although it, the service is better. And when you start, when it starts dawning on the patient that you're receiving faxes, Huntsville isn't the Silicon Valley at all. But when you said your prescription came by fax, they would look at you like, really? And I think all of us um, would like to represent ourselves as using technology to the best that we can to benefit the people that we serve. And digital prescriptions are such an advancement compared to what was going on before. 